Hi guys, Nick here from TechnimLogic.com and today I'm going to show you how to install Remix OS on your PC which is really a great OS and Android version for your PC and it looks just great. Before the video gets started, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red icon down below which will definitely going to help my YouTube channel to grow. So let's get started. Technoblogic.com. So first you need to download it. So to download it, just open the Google in your browser and type Remix OS download. There will be a second or third link which is gide.com which is a developer's website. Just open the link and you will be there at the download page for the Remix OS for PC. When you come down, it shows different comparison after installing and benchmarks. So at down there is the important notice which is said that I am a developer and I want to download the Remix OS. So there are two versions which is there. One is Remix OS for PC and Legacy version, Remix OS for PC, EFI version. So I have downloaded the Legacy version by using Torrent. You can use direct download also, depends on your internet connection. So after downloading it, you will get the file which is Remix OS for PC alpha version which means beta version. You just need to right click it and extract it by using a WinRAR, WinZip, it depends on you. After extracting it, you will get three files in it. First, how to launch Remix OS on PC. Second, the ISO file and third, the file using which you can make your pen drive a bootable version. You can use Rufus also which is a great software. Insert the USB, I'm having a USB 3.0, 16GB version, just plug it in your USB 3.0 port in your laptop or in your PC right now I'm using a HP laptop with i3 and 2 GB of Nvidia graphic card now just open the remix OS to USB tool using which you are going to make the pen drive bootable and there are is two options to select the file of ISO and a USB disk after this now I'll just select the remix OS in ISO version and select the disk also which in this case is G drive but before you select the G drive you need to format it in FAT32 if you are going to format in NTFC or XFAT, it won't boot, so it need to be at default FAT32. Just quick format it, and after that, just select the G drive in your software, which is Remix OS USB tool, and it will start copying and making your USB drive a bootable drive. It takes hardly five to six minutes to make the pen drive bootable. After that, you will get the option of reboot now. It depends on you if you are going to shut down it or going to reboot it. So after rebooting, you just need to open your BIOS setting. Every one's BIOS setting is different. Here, I'm having a different BIOS setting. Maybe in your device, it is different BIOS. After getting into the BIOS, you just need to change the boot priority to the USB drive. In my HP laptop, it is too easy. Just press the escape button and press F9. It will show you different boot menus which are there. I'm selecting the USB drive and after that, it shows guest mode. No data will be saved after each session and resident mode. I'm using resident mode as I will permanently using this USB drive for Remix OS. Now I'm going to select it. It, it start booting the kernel. It takes about uh, 10 minutes depending on the speed of your drive. If you're using a USB 2.0 drive it will take a speed test also which take about 10-15 uh, minutes extra so this is a 3.0 drive so I don't think so it will take 10 minutes it depends so you have to wait need not to worry regarding it it won't create any harm to your PC or your laptop or your BIOS it just take a little bit of time like you install a normal windows in it after it it shows writing super blocks if if you are using a USB 2.0, for it, it will show that a speed test will go on and you have to press any key. But this is a USB 3.0, so it, it is not showing it. After that, it will start booting Remix OS. Like when you start Windows, it shows Windows 10 or Windows 8 booting. So this is a, a Remix OS, which is booting. After that, it will get you to the select language option. You just have to select the English or depends on you which language you want to use. Next, you just need to set up the Wi-Fi or you can even skip it. I am right now setting up the Wi-Fi password and after that just setup is complete and you just need to say okay after that the remix os looks totally like the mac os you're using it is too smooth and almost all the drivers are there even the uh, volume key and the brightness key works pretty fine the next key and different options work fine the right click options had three menus like uh, uh, arrange icons new folder change wallpaper and display setting in display setting it is uh, nothing just you can change the wallpaper and auto rotate and sleep mode there are different wallpapers which is inbuilt and you can customize it also by putting it in your USB drive or attaching any pen drive or sending the wallpapers using the Bluetooth. You can clear the RAM by clicking uh, in the RAM cleaner 
right bottom and there bluetooth option change volume and wi-fi option keyboard which keyboard you want to use which wi-fi are you using right now time notification center where there is different options like rotate notification ringtone hide the status bar down which is coming there and the screenshot different way of taking the screenshot you can crop it like note 5 and the setting option there are different settings like we get in our android and there are accessibility setting also you can change it according to your use and there are different applications which is pre-installed like browser calculator camera clock contacts download if you're going to download anything file manager keyboard you can add different keyboard also and mx player music setting and widgets you can add widgets also it depends on you and uh, the version on which the remix os is based in android 5.1.1 you can play the android game also which is a zero mb game a video is already being posted yesterday on it you can use the browser also for surfing different uh, websites right now i'm using my website technologic.com and it is working pretty fine it is showing the desktop mode itself no mobile version but if you are going to use open youtube it will open in mobile version but it play word flawlessly no issue pinch zoom works fine no issue in my website right now the pinch zoom is off so that's why it is not working in this website but it works pretty fine in mobile version the pinch zoom works in my website and uh, the full review View and how to stall play store will be coming soon so hope you guys like the video if you like this stuff be sure to hit subscribe and like button and you can follow me on twitter as well so see you guys in my next video till then see ya